So today we're going to get back on the old RM465. Got the cylinder back. Been a while now. Uh, probably at least six weeks. <laughs> Time flies. So, it'll be kind of a little bit of an unboxing video here going on. Send it off to uh, a place called Power Seal. So, let's see how they did. That is a nice box. Piston I sent them. That looks good. I was worried they would forget and not send it back to me. I thought, well, six weeks later, it's going to be tough to get it. Get them done. Yeah, whatever, you know. Look at that. I don't know how much we can see here. Check. Oh, nicely done. I don't think you can really see in there. It looks really super nice. Really nice. Well, that looks good. So, I was going to put this on there today, but I'm going to have to tape everything back up. And clean it, clean it, tape it, and repaint it. So I probably won't get it on there today. I have to let the paint dry. So you can see I got the uh, cylinder all taped up and then painted up. Got it sitting here in front of the uh, wood burning stove. So it's been on here for a couple hours now. So it's it's pretty dry. So I think I can uh, go ahead and assemble it. Got the pist piston in. So I'm all ready. Got the base gasket down. Brand new Suzuki one even, not a replacement. All right, I got it all back together. So I'm about to, to uh, try and start it up. I did uh, change, uh, I had some, uh, I don't know if you can see the acorn nuts in there. I thought they looked a little fancier than the uh, just open-ended uh, nuts. Not that you can really see them. I don't think you can see it from this side. but. They're there. I ended up having an extra set from uh, the arm 250s I'm doing, so. All right, I'm getting a little nervous. Let's start this beast up. As you can see, I just checked for spark, and I don't appear to have any for some reason. So I stripped her all back. Whoa! Almost fell over. Stripped her back down. Check everything with plugged plugged in. So I had it all tucked in here, and I didn't before. I don't remember how. But anyway, let's look at the plug again. So I don't know. I gotta take those connections back apart and figure out what's going going on here. I must have wiggled something or pulled something. So we'll see. <laughs> 